Hi everybody, it's Matt Halls of the Happy Show and I'm here today with another video vlog. And today is January 13th, 2007. It's Sunday, whoa. And uh, this is going to be a more straightforward vlog. There's not a whole bunch of uh, goofy humor or anything here. Uh, because it's an interesting topic I want to discuss. Uh, as many of you know, I... I sometimes comes come to clashes with certain uh, certain corporations and such, but uh, this is not an uh, issue that I'm personally in, well I'm personally involved in only in the sense I'm a consumer as as many many people out there are. Uh, it has to do with the credit card industry, and uh, it's funny how I I got to thinking about this whole subject. And researching some stuff because a friend and I, well, actually, uh, many of you know Dave Johnson, David W. Johnson, the kitchen magician, the culinary conjurer of Milltime Magic, who is also on YouTube under the account Elliot, that's E L I O T 508 508, Elliot 508 at youtube.com, on youtube.com. Um, we were talking about things because we were watching a, it was a TV show or a movie or something, and, and it was older. Yes, yes, it was, I know what it is now. It's a 1950s film. And uh, they were talking about having a credit card, and Dave uh, didn't realize that credit cards go back that far. And I said, well, yeah, yeah, they go back at least to the 40s, I thought. And uh, and so, just out of curiosity, uh, that was several days ago, I decided to do the research. Because I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you, where you talk about a certain subject matter, and you're like, you know what, I wonder... I wonder more about that. I want I want to know more information, just for whatever reason. So I did, you know, did the research. Of course, the history of credit in its in a general sense goes way back. But uh, credit cards do start right around. I think it's in 1949, and and then the 50s really took off with the Diners Club. It was the first real credit cards, and they were issued like on cardboard and such. And then eventually, you know, the plastic uh, card came to being, and. Uh, as a result of my research on this, I came across a PBS.org documentary that was also aired on PBS, as I understand it, and it was very fascinating. Now, I knew a lot of the stuff that was mentioned in this video, but then I realized a lot of you people out there may not realize this. And even if you do, may not realize the extent of some of the things that go on, goes on with credit cards companies and such. This uh, program that was aired on PBS, and is viewable in five parts all on the PBS website which I will leave a link over here it's called the secret history of the credit cards secret history of credit cards it uh, doesn't really go to the very beginning of credit cards uh, as far as history it goes to the more modern era which starts sometime in the 80s as uh, if I remember correctly like 81 or so and but what it really is is it's not like a dry boring history lesson in fact it's very very important and very interesting to anybody out there who uses credit cards, which is probably almost every adult who would be seeing this. And uh, the thing about credit cards is uh, I know that whenever you get your statements and it has a minimum payment, something I knew, but, then I, but you just assume some people might know, so many, you might, maybe you don't know this. That minimum payment is pretty much just paying your interest. So if you keep paying on that minimum payment, but just paying that minimum, you'll never really get out of debt. You know, you'll be constantly overwhelmed. And uh, then I le <clears throat> learned some things which I kind of had an inkling about, like how there is no regulation really. There's no caps on the amount of interest you can be charged on your credit cards by a credit card company, nor is there on fees. This program, program is very interesting, and I think that it would be very, uh, very much to your best interest if you are a credit card holder to watch every part of this. Uh, it's in five parts again. I think it's probably about hour long or so. And again, the link will be over here. I'll leave a link directly to their website for pbs.org to the page that presents this story because it it will probably make some of you angry, and uh, but it's definitely going to inform you on the way things are handled with the credit card industry. Uh, it talks about how the OCC, uh, the, the department of, for the government that's supposed to regulate the banking card industry, is almost does nothing to do so. It has to, in fact, be prodded to by, uh, well, much like how when I get something done by actually writing a letter, you know, these companies have to actually, uh, like the states have to actually take some kind of action to, make, to put the OCC uh, in the situation with the banks into uh, 
into the public light to get the OCC to actually act on something. Uh, they were talking about the Providian company, which was holding payments, holding payments from consumers so that they could charge them late fees. Because I was told personally this myself by a banking official here in my own state, my own city, uh, that yes, these these corporations, the banking industry makes the most of its profits from fees. And by the way, the bar banking the banking card industry makes record profits each and every year off of fees. Fees and interest, but the fees are actually where the money's at. They want you to be behind in your payments. They want you to uh, constantly, what do they call it, a revolving customer. They want you to be a revolving consumer. They don't want you to pay off your debt. Many people are under the misconception that if you got you know good credit history and you always pay off your bills and stuff, that you won't have to worry about higher interest charges and all that sort of thing. That's not the case. They actually don't like you. These the banking industry. They don't want you to pay it off because they want to be able to make money off of your interest and off of feeing, you know, charging you fees and such. And so again, I I was aware of a lot of this, but but I was wasn't realizing just how far it goes and, and some of the other extremes and some of the other situations like uh, the Better Business Bureau, which is uh, talk which the Frontline. By the way, the program is Frontline for PBS. So the Frontline uh, reporter talks to the Better Business Bureau and finds out that the the banking card industry is the chief number one thing that cons that receives consumer complaints. The number one thing in this country, in the United States, that receives complaints is the banking card industry. And uh, there's almost no regulation, no real regulation that has any teeth anyway to, to stop and put pressure on these companies are on these uh, these corporations, the banking corporations, and the OCC doesn't act on anything unless they're put into a position where they have to. All this is dealt with in this this uh, investigative report because that's what it is. It's an investigative report on Frontline, and uh, I just thought it was really important. And one thing I like about a, a site like YouTube, a viral community, and the internet by by large is this ability to share such information with people. I, you know, when I see something like this, I always think to myself, especially back when, before I was ever on the internet, when I see a program like this, I'm like, oh man, everybody needs to see this. I mean, many of you might experience that yourself, where you see something, think everybody needs to know this, everybody needs to see this, but how do you get the word out of it and talk to some friends? Here's where uh, YouTube can really be a beneficial, positive tool, and viral video communities like YouTube. And, and that's why I'm, I'm glad that there is this, uh, this opportunity, this, this venue, I guess, to let you guys know. Uh, and, and again, I stress, watch the whole thing. I know a lot of people don't want to sit through all the videos, but it's if you're a consumer and you own a credit card and, and you deal with the banks and stuff, it's in your best interest to watch this whole thing. I'm not getting paid by PBS to, uh, <laughs> to go and throw this out there and say, watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm doing it because I want people to know. I want them to know what's going on and you know, hopefully take some action in their community and with the, uh, the government and all to try and actually get some reform done. And uh, just, if nothing else, just educate people. So again, the link right over there for PBS.org's Frontline Program, The Secret History of Credit Cards. Check it out. And that is my video vlog for today. I'll be silly on another one. Yay! <laughs>